Oh, hi, Science Babe Shills. Science Babe here, and Science Dog, of course. You know, it's been a long, hard week of being the Science Babe, and I think it's time to relax a little bit, get out of the lab coat, and maybe even get my drink on, because it's been a nice, hard week, and I think it is time to relax with an adult beverage or two. We're going to relax with Good Dog, because as discussed in my last video, Good Dog is 13% alcohol. And you know what? You don't even need an ID to buy it. So I'm not sure how this tastes. Like I found out, homeopathic treatments, most of the time, they're sugar pills. But this one is pretty much just alcohol and water, so it's gonna be a little wonky how it tastes. So we had a discussion as to what I was gonna mix this with on the site. A uh, Red Bull and uh, and Good Dog, and call it a um, a Bulldog. So let's see what this, uh, what this tastes like. So we're going to uh, film me over the next few hours and just cut to the funny parts because I don't drink very often um, and I don't know um, what's gonna happen so this could be entertaining. So here's um this is the one that I opened the other day so um, hold on let's just take a little sip of this and for the record I contacted the company just to make sure it's ethyl alcohol so it's, it's good to know that they're not feeding the dogs isopropanol. It's ethyl alcohol um, so it's the stuff that you'll get at the liquor store, but at the same time, this is alcohol, 13% alcohol. It's the stuff that you're gonna get a bottle of wine. So first a little sip, I'm a little worried about this. Here we go. Not that good. Let's add something to it. How about we make a bulldog? Let's add a little more, because let's make the night festive. And down the hatch we go. Bulldog, not bad essence of, well, as I like to call these homeopathic remedies, bullshit. Now, because it's it's one of my videos, we have to add Diet Coke into everything. We're going to call it a dog and Coke. So, once again, throwing down the rest of this. It's flowery, I'll say that for it. So, very flowery. It just tastes lightly, I don't know, alcoholic. It's not bad, actually. <laughs> That's not something that I want to say when there's something that 13-year-olds could walk up and buy. Please don't. But that's the thing. Petco is not going to card you because this is for your dog. So, second one right down the hatch. Mm. So, I've had enough alcohol in the last... Um, 45 seconds to get me because I have no tolerance. I'm um, drunk. Um, we're gonna see what happens um, over the next two hours or so. Um, as that should be enough time to see me get drunk and then sober up again. Uh, we're gonna film me making an ass of myself for science, of course. Let's see what happens after I've had a full bottle of Good Dog, which again is 13% fucking alcohol and they're giving it to your dogs. So. This is, again, not an excuse to get drunk. It's really, I, I have a huge amount of concern about the fact that they're giving this to your dogs. So I'm going to uh, cut film for a little while, and every time something silly happens in my apartment, I'm gonna tape it and let you see um, what horrifying things I do when I'm drunk. Buddy's barking. Buddy's barking. That's rude. That's so rude. Buddy, say hi. This is science dog. I being rude, but no, oh, I can't say I can't stay mad at him. He's so cute. Don't 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 Hail to the music, yeah, yeah. Buddy, why are you looking at No, he just wants kisses. Do you want kisses? Buddy kiss the No, he doesn't want to kiss the computer. He wants cuddles. Do you want cuddles? Everyone wants cuddles. I want to cuddle my dog. Kisses? I want more diet coke. <gasps> I want more diet coke. I I have diet coke. <gasps> It's the best day ever! I have Diet Coke. I have a dog and I have Diet Coke. Buddy, come here! Can I, can I have kisses? 
Come on, we have kisses. Come here. Ah. Oh. I'm drunk and I have to cook. Mmm. Ruff. I did just bark at my dog. And that's why I don't drink. Except for for science. Mmm. Oh my god. I need to order food. Oh, food's the best thing ever, isn't it? Food gives you tits. Food is awesome. I want I'm gonna order food. I'm gonna let you go for a minute so I can order food. Hello, Domino's? <laughs> Hello, Dominic? Bum, 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 bum. I'm drunk. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. I'm drunk on dog medication. I either have to be more sober or more drunk to comprehend this. He's a little short to be a stormtrooper. He's dog. So it's been nearly two hours um, and I'm sobered up. This has taught me a few things. Number one, uh, that you can indeed get drunk off of uh, something that you buy at Petco um, without showing your ID. Number two, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've driven poor science dog crazy with these little videos. Of course, for him, any attention is good attention because he's over here uh, curled up half asleep next to me. Now we are starting another uh, petition to ask Petco to pull uh, these remedies because even though they say on it that all the active ingredients are you know, to the these solutions where there's really nothing left in it. They list 13% alcohol as an inactive ingredient. I did that demonstration just to show that alcohol is pretty active because it's it's active enough that I just ordered Domino's. Because I mean come on, that's that's pretty impaired judgment. Moving on, um please sign the petition because this stuff is dangerous. Alcohol is um, is not generally indicated for, for dogs. Um, we really need to get this stuff off the market um, soon. Thank you guys. Nah, hey ya, ba 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 ba